Guys, the trace I'm going to show you is the long distance casting trace. It's there for grey shark fishing in particular. It's a double hook trace that we utilize. Um, don't forget, all our saltwater sports traces are available, um, already made up. Okay. For this trace, what we require, some uh, 47 strand. Uh, American fishing wire, very soft, very supple, works extremely well in our area. A dangle, and if you want to know how to make it, you can look in the previous editions. This is our uh, ring chinu hook, 5 -0. you can use 3 O's, but 5 -0. Mustard soy, 7 O's. Rubber um, stopper beads if you want to call it that our NT swivel this is the smallest one that is available standard power swivel and of course one little sinker clip um, to start off with we need some wire so I'm just going to take all of these away I'm going to make it about 20 to 30 centimeters I'm going to cut it off One chinu 7 out coming out the packet. And very simply, figure of eight knot to join it. So what we do is just put your finger in there, put your finger over the top, and we go around once, twice, back through, forming your figure of eight. Now to tighten it, I'm just going to tighten and slide it all the way down. Pull as hard as I can and then just cut off the tag end. Our chinu soy. It's got a slightly bent back eye, so it makes it ideal as a holding hook, if you'd like to call it, and for snelling purposes. It is also offset and it is extremely sharp. the back get the length that I require and that will be about uh, the distance that I, I like it to be if you want to measure it basically take your dangle and put it next to it and you can see actually a little bit longer would be better there we go okay all I'm going to do now is just snell it going around one two three four five six seven times and back through the eye like that, a lighter, where is my lighter, there's my lighter guys, thank you very much, okay it's snelled, if you have a look over there, Kingfisher, 20 kilo. And to join the two nylons, again, it's just a figure of eight. Wire twice. And then the nylon, you go around three times. One, two, three times. Now pull it tight. And there we go. Just cut off the tag ends. And there is the knot. As you can see, totally complete. I'm going to make it about a meter in length. And that I'm going to tie to a three-way swivel. Okay, I'm using a Kingfisher Power combination swivel, uh, five and six. 
again I'm keeping it as small and as light as possible again it's more for clean water fishing so the lighter the better always remember if that's your three-way swivel the big R goes to your leader and you always want to keep it in line so when you're pulling that part of the swivel actually takes up all the power so if you're pulling a fish that is where you need to attach your hook snooting to and again to do that one two three times back through put a lubrication slide it up pull tight cut off the tag end sinker snooting and that one we're going to tie it to this little swivel over here to the size 5 so what we do is we go through it again figure of 8 and we just slide him down and we're going to pull it tight Cut that one and we just measure off quickly where we want our sinker to be. The sinker we want to tie over there. So. Sinker clip. One, two, three times. Back around. Slide it down, get off the tag end, and just grab a cone sinker quickly. There's our cone sinker, and it's as simple as that to put it on. That little clip now is going to attach to our dangle. There's our dangle. Now how this works, is your hook goes in there. And if you want to see how to make a dangle, guys, they are available on our previous uh, episodes. Now to bait it, just quickly show you how the full trace looks. That will then clip on there. That goes to your leader. And with the bait on there, you've got a double hook that you can throw very, very far. Very simple, very easy to utilize.